more lined pockets. Just playing a card become jamming a card uh, when you don't think about it. <laughs> That's not even true. Uh, when you forcefully put it on the board. Yeah, it, it's about the intention, right? It's it's when you don't care about what your opponent does, but you're just you're just playing stuff. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh anime for reference. Do I trust in the heart of the cards? No, the heart of the cards is a scam designed to sell packs of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. No fear. Oh, I guess you can just leader charge. I didn't really consider that as an option. Hmm. That leader's pretty good, huh? The scam command is good pasta. I'll say it. It's pretty good pasta. Is there something that offends you about line pockets? Cracker Justice Cracker is not okay. Yeah, I could see that. I don't know. Hopefully he just runs out of cards to play. That would be cool. Hey, he ran out of cards to play. I mean, he played a card that gives him seven coins. <laughs> don't think there's anything weird about that. Oh, cool. Glad you enjoy the deck. Wait, which deck was this? Did I have a Yencon deck? Oh, was this the uh, the NR one, the Revenants one? So, huh? What's the reason for pushing? We don't really have much in the way of a long round. Maybe we could like thin our commandos and force something out of him. Okay. Is this AA number one? This is AA number one. I don't want to do something with that. He's on four coins though. Warfare synergistic leader. No? I don't think so. Our leaders are pretty bad. I would say leader designs overall are pretty medium in Gwen. They've like changed their guiding philosophy on leader designs a bunch, so there's only like a few leaders that really make sense. Okay, well now. Ugh. I mean, if he fell up as this, it's fine. I don't know. Best designed leader in Gwent. I like all of the ones that have passives. I think of your proposal. I mean, it's fine. It's something they could do. Mm. That happens. This is the Tailbot deck. Hey, Drago. I get the cleaver. Still has Jacques. Still has Siggy. And 
drill. Well, drill doesn't matter with Justice and Cleaver gone. All the golds. Not all the golds. How could I forget Corinthia Cats? That's still one of my most YouTube YouTube videos twice. Most viewed YouTube videos twice. It should be the deck link. Baron is doing is unclear. Yeah, Baron's just a good card. Combos with Paraxis. YouTube video about cats was popular. You know, I never thought about it that way. against monsters. No, you get resets against Syndicate. You can reset Jackals, you can reset Cleaver, you can reset like their uh, their Saul, if they're playing Saul. Piggy, if they don't immune their pig. The other thing is the card's just like rarely bad too. You can always just range row it and reset one of your units against like Skellige. If your opponent is trying to bloodthirst you, you have a unit that's damaged by a few. You still get 10 for 10. It comes down with a boost which makes them getting bloodthirst a little tricky. Um, let's just... What does he still have? Still has a bloody good fun. Still has a payday. It's... I kind of want to kill a spender. Just in case he's greeting. Nah, I'm currently single. Use title 100% win rate, do well. Sometimes it's hit or miss. I have to be careful to not overuse it. Waiting for Tunnel Drill to come out and wipe the board. With what? He has no crown splitters left. Guys, Tunnel Drill isn't just fee two, deal three. The card has a cost, and that cost is if you play your cleaver at Novogradian Justice, you don't get a pocket for it. Like, the card is good, but it's not without its costs. Don't click the boat so I can still Varaxis and Leader. Oh, I should have put this here. Is it a Crown Splitter? It is a Crown Splitter. So he built his own uh, Owl or Freak Show. Yeah, if I had realized it was a Crown Splitter, I'd probably click the boat. Um... What do you got? So we've gotten one extra point. Resetting the Siggy instead of the boat. That's pretty good. Nope. I don't really feel like I'm ever talking to myself. I get a tie. I mean, I'll take it. I'll take it. Considering the card disadvantage, cannot complain. Patricidal fear. It can be fly cry. I imagine you as Peepos. You all look just like that. I use... I don't use a lot of lights. I have two uh, panel lights. Ah, why did I look into them? Yeah, I have two panel lights. Marg. It's Marg that. <laughs> Look into the weekend. God damn it. Uh, I was just gonna Anna. I, mean, I guess I can do. We can just do this. 
top monitor bigger than my main monitor? Uh, no, I think they're about the same size. The main monitor might be a little bit bigger. Nice name. Looks like he's running Camby. You would think that, but it is not a guarantee. Camby Flycry is a connoisseur of memes. Do I have full strong one every time? Yeah. <sighs> I don't know. Maybe this was the wrong line. Let's see how this goes. What kind of mic do I use? I have a Audio Technica. Blah. I forget what it's called. It doesn't say on it anywhere. It's like an AT something, I think. It should be, if you look under my stream, there should be a panel that has all my streaming gear. The attack Taylor. Yeah, there's Sennheiser 560S. They're nice, I like them. The gamer chair, a good investment? Uh, I got it for free, so yes, but the company no longer exists. A good chair is a good investment. Especially if you sit on it for 15 plus hours a day. <laughs> I guess 15 might be a little high. 12 plus? I'd say 12 plus. Chair is huge. This was the small. I, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I thought about upgrading the chair. I don't know. I like to sit in chairs weird, so I don't know. I don't know if uh, like Herman Miller would be right. I, I, no! I. They had two sizes. They had the regular and they had the big. I said, give me the regular. <laughs> the regular was very large. You have a Grandmaster OPC. It's way too big. Yeah. Yeah. That's what they called it. They called it the Grandmaster. What are we talking about? Chairs, I think. Anything other than Gwent. Need this meme? I don't know, it's his tailbox deck. I feel like Gwent players have an obsession of like putting decks into categories. Of like it's either top tier or it's a meme, and there's no in between. So what can I do here? If I go Baron six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. The leader charge. Oh, true. The drummer was buffing the Anna. Whoops. Mid range, yeah. Mid range sort of lost its meaning after a while. I think of the Scytheman nerf. Uh, it was, I don't know. It like kills the swarm and our type deck, but it's probably a good change overall. Oh no! Oh no! What is this? Tread horse into any deck. No, it's not the type of card that I want to play ever. It's never a card. Like, Horson's not the type of card you put in the deck because you want to play that card in the deck. It's the type of card you put in the deck because it's good in the metagame. There's just enough things that you want to deal six to.
we cool oh wait but ice oh, oh okay we beat it anyway <laughs> yeah i'm used to uh just nine being out of range if you can be but i guess with an ice in play that's not the case that's funny I still played around with it as much as I could, right? Like, we played the Miiva turn early. We used our leader. Um... Hmm. No, they have to discredit card. If they don't discredit card, you don't discredit card. Need strength defending a bleed? I mean, that's one thing that Meat does. It's like kind of clunky. You can't play Meave after they pass, right? Because you need three turns, not two. Oh, come on. At least once an hour. At least once an hour. I mean, you could buff it to make it more reliable, you could buff it to make it cheaper. Like, there's a ton of things you could do to make the card more playable. You could also say that it's just fine the way it is as a fringe card. I don't know. Kind of just want to save this. Nah, you could take away the Inspired if you want to, make it a little easier to have it resolve. I can do that now. To be purified. <laughs> I can't boil a coil that. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking boiling oil. What a shitty card. What do I do here? How do I beat the Kelly? If I assemble, like, full test plus Anna, Dun Banner, I can sort of beat it. I'm not really scared of the bleed anymore. Let's see if this works. Yeah, the count starts from when she was locked. So if you lock it at countdown 1 and they unlock it, it'll immediately go off. So I can play AA number one. Cool, I guess. Jim Kelly players be bleeding round two with what? He played Nithral, he played his dash, he played his phantom. He might not have it. Okay, I need my full test. I don't win without full test. Um Yikes. Yep. No, AA shouldn't do everything. What the fuck? We can go... I'll just do this now. We can put the commando here too.
I think he might have been trying to be cheeky, not realizing it four units in play. I don't know. You can A-rush it, but I can Varaxis. Oh, Siphon better. I guess Siphon's better. Okay, what do you got? Cool. I have a broken Nilfgaard deck. Uh, I yoinked Crozier's deck. Which I think he yoinked from someone else, but... Yeah, it was pretty good. There's a lot of, uh... Yeah, a lot of yoinking going around with that deck. Let me see if I have the link. Yeah, I think it's this. Huh. Maybe? CDPR likes baking in a lot of anti-synergy into their archetypes. I don't know how much of it's intentional. Like, wanting to encourage different variants of the same sort of archetype. Pirates is the same way. Where, like, the cards that, uh... You want to play with self-wound pirates are bad with Demon Worship, because they have low power. Yeah, or the one that gives them more credit. Eh... I don't know. They do it so much that... I don't know, I feel like it has to be intentional. How do I win this matchup? I legitimately have no idea what I'm supposed to do. I can like pl keep playing cards until they pass, and then maybe that's enough. But, like, all my cards trade down with bombs. Like, I think every card in my deck trades down with bombs. Yuck. At least we got the cat. Only runs four bombs. Really? I respect that. Maybe. Just Omega match. Yeah, yeah. All the variants of it are good in different matchups, too. Like, the elf variant can win around one against different decks than the Matic one. Gross. <laughs> so, what is this gonna be crushing? <laughs> is there a scam? Oh no. <laughs> Wait, it wasn't crushing? Yeah, so it's horn or serpent? <sighs> Is there any reason to keep playing? It's probably serpent. Crushed. Well played, well played. Yeah, if he doesn't click Tiger, he wins. Assuming it's crushing. 
Crushing wooden trigger. Oh, true. It doesn't go back. It doesn't go back around. No, you're right. You're right. Pitfall. Yeah, yeah. Man, what is it about this season and like going back to all the old beta habits? I feel like every night I'm making some kind of math error based on beta math. Dwarfs. <laughs> Good luck on your quest of degeneracy. Your visuals didn't age well. Depends how far back in beta you go. I don't think the last iteration of beta looked that bad. Though I think that's an unpopular opinion. Yeah, it just looked like a CTG. I don't like. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, I'll, I'll acknowledge that. I'll acknowledge that. I also think Runeterra looks way too fucking flashy for a card game. And I think that's an unpopular opinion as well. I think a lot of people like flashy, sparkly nonsense in their games. Get out here. How much do I... I'm not winning round one against dwarfs anyway. The best I can hope for is that I break up his carrier bear. Um... Yeah, I mean, I also can't just give up the round. There's this, uh... This thing in Gwent called getting dwarfed. And if I pass, I will, in fact, get dwarfed. RNG and monetization away. I feel like that's the popular opinion, but I think that game had bigger problems in its gameplay than just arrow RNG. But I feel like if you ask a lot of people, they will give that exact answer. Like the problems were just monetization or just arrow RNG. When like other games with way more predatory monetization have been successful. Other games with a lot of randomness have been successful. Like, while it's kind of janky that, like, everything, you had to pay for, like, everything in the game with, uh, like, there were no free drafts, there were no free anything. I don't think, that, were there free tournaments? I think Ladder was free and that was it. Like, that was kind of shitty, but as far as, like, their card acquisition model goes, that's a more consumer-friendly model than the fucking free-to-play model that every digital card game has. The Hearthstone model is so much more predatory than the Marketplace model. I was thinking about how much things cost, though. It's just the upfront fee makes people re... I, I guess. I don't know. The card acquisition model is one of the things that I really liked about Artifact. I thought the gameplay was kind of shit, but even without buying the game, I bought some cards on the market because I thought that idea was cool. I think I still have them. Let me see. Steam Library. Artifact Classic. Wait, that's not my inventory. Inventory. So I don't have my thingy. Yeah, I have five incarnations of Selamine and five unearthed secrets. We outpoint dwarfs without full test? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. Testing is no bomb. There's nothing about paying an upfront cost people hate. I mean, I don't know. Maybe in like this particular space that they were in, trying to market to Dota players and digital CCG players. But like, there are games with way more greedy business models that succeed.
Like, Magic Online still exists, and it's basically that exact business model. What are we doing here? AA is... A Scytheman, eventually? I'm gonna kill this. So we can put this here. Magic Arena is it? Well, Magic Arena just has, like, the Hearthstone model. I'm talking about Magic Online. The really old one. Oh, fuck. I have to leave next turn. <laughs> hmm. Probably need to kill this. Turn after. Oh. No, you're right. You're right. I get better siphon value this way, but yeah. There was one more turn. Yeah, I think we're short. Eve just sucks. I feel like there's nothing more frustrating about streaming and playing for three hours, and then you have someone who just gets here and says, this deck sucks because you lost this game, or this deck sucks because you lost the last two games. I don't think there is anything more frustrating. Mid-game GGs are pretty frustrating. But like, our long round card getting stuck in our deck, and then losing the long round to dwarfs, I mean, that just happens. Nah, we lost the dwarfs. Maybe she just let on AA. It's like lead AA, get royal guards, but nah, I can protect the drummer now. We have marines in deck. Check tortoise cam. Nope, not there. I stopped playing Yu-Gi-Oh. I started streaming and after playing six hours of one card game for six hours for, for every day, I don't really have any desire to play more hours of another card game part time. Stream Yu-Gi-Oh, low viewership. Yeah. I would need to establish myself in the, the Yu-Gi-Oh community before that becomes worthwhile. I mean, I could, but I don't. Two week for A? Was it only? It had to be longer than two weeks. I think it was like a month. I think it was like a month. Rip full tests. I mean, 1k is bigger than Gwen, generally. That's also just dual links, right? Like, if you want to play actual Yu-Gi-Oh, there's not really a good online client for it. I, I saw the official Yu-Gi-Oh channel, and they were streaming a tournament that was literally cameras with, like, people playing with their cards. Like, rather than using any of, like, Dueling Book or whatever for the official tournaments, you literally hook up a webcam, shuffle your deck, and play with that. I couldn't believe my eyes. It was like it was 2005 again. My best performing variety game? Uh, The Witcher 3, if that counts. Not fair. 
Terran first went on even. I didn't think he was just gonna pass. <laughs> I thought we were still going. Probably should have just jammed Baron. This is the Tailbot deck. Card for card, the Tailbot deck. It's a brew, just not my brew. So I want to bleed the iced, I think. It's AA number two. Because if he kills the Anse, so at least he's not removing the shield from the Donamir. Removing the shield from the Donamir enables a big leader. Darn. This forces the ice. I could also... If I champ leader, I don't win round three. I don't know. No, I haven't seen the new Yu-Gi-Oh! ban list. Let's see. What did they do here? Don't know that one. Utopic Zexel got banned? True king of all calamities. I vaguely know what that did. No, they limited Benson! Fuck! I guess they reprinted it enough times that I don't care. <laughs> God, I knew that card was gonna be good eventually when it first came out. I have like 50 copies sitting in a box that I bought for dirt. What? Firewall Dragon to three. Was forbidden. This change takes effect April 14th. Did they like errata Firewall Dragon? Did we get his ice? Fuck. I think every time they've ever put a malicious to three, it ends up breaking something. And they end up relimiting it. Rank up magic, Argent Chaos Force. That was banned? Wait, which one was this? Which one was Argent Chaos Force? Was this the combo one? I feel like I remember this card. Target one rank five or higher exceeds your control. Special a number C or C X Y Z that is one rank higher. What did you do with this card? Rank five is special. Is this the Lavalval Chain combo deck? I remember needing to get copies of this card, but I don't remember why. 